everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be showing you how I made this beautiful dress it is a kimono robe all right and it is very very simple and easy to make so guys let us get to it basically we only cutting out four rectangles so we'll be cutting out the body which is the front and the back the sleeves the belt and the collar so I just want to explain to you how I got my measurement. The length that I want is 34 inches. Okay, I want it to be above my knee. So from here, which is my baseline to here, is 34 inches. Okay, so this is the 2 inch allowance for aiming the bottom of the dress. So the total width of the dress. To get the total width of the dress, you're going to need to get your bust or hips measurement all right so the higher of the two my bust measurement is 36 my hips measurement is 40 inches so i'll be using 40 inches to calculate the width so 40 inches plus extra inches because it is a free dress it is kimono right so be adding extra inches if you are on the average size like me i'm a size 8 you'll be adding 10 inches okay and if you're on the big side you can add 12 to 14 inches so it depends on how free or how big you want the dress to be i hope you understand so now to get what we're going to fold i'm going to add 10 inches to 40 inches which is my hips measurement right that is 50 inches so i'm going to fold 50 inches into four all right so this is four now one two this is unfold three and then four okay so the total width is 50 inches okay but i added extra one inch to it for seam allowance do you get me so now for the okay when we get to the sleeves i'm going to show you what you're going to do so to get the neck i'm just going to measure three inches width okay three inches width and then one inch okay basically the one inch is for the back not the front so because i'm going to be making a deep v like this i'm not going to measure the depth of the neck of the front do you get me so i'm just going to curve this like this this is one inch remember and then i'm going to cut out the dress we are not going to do anything to the shoulder we are not going to slant the shoulder no all right So I haven't cut this out. You see, this is still on fold, right? So I'm just going to open up this part. Okay, because one part will be the front while the other part will be the back. So I'm going to open this up. So what I'm going to do now is to cut the neck line. But remember that we always cut half inch above the neck line. All right, so that is what I'm going to do here. The next thing I'm going to do is to notch this neck part, okay, and then I'm going to remove this as the back pattern and this is going to be the front. So what I'm going to do about the front is this, I am going to connect it from here straight down, okay, to somewhere above my waistline, yeah. So from my neck. My waistline is 15.5, okay, 15.5 which is here, right, so I'm just going to go about 4 inches, alright, so I'm just going to connect this part, this 3 inch mark, down here. So when I get here, right, I'm going to curve this part a little, yeah, and draw it straight down, all right? Just for it to have a little opening, about 0.25 inches. So I'm going to open it up, okay, because we're going to have two front pieces. So now the next thing we are going to do is this. I'll be joining the back pattern 
Okay, right side facing right side. I'll be joining it at the shoulder with the front pattern. So I'm going to join it like this and like this with the 0.5 inch seam allowance. Okay, so this front is going to be open. This is the dress. Yeah, I've sewn it. Now let us move to the sleeves. For the sleeves, you're going to measure around your armhole. Okay, my armhole is 17 inches. And then you're going to add five inches extra because the sleeves has to be wide okay so five inches extra that's 22 inches so you're going to get a, a piece of fabric 22 inches put it on fold and then you cut it out okay so now looking at this what i want is 22 inches in total all right but you know it's on fold the sleeves we usually cut it on fold so 22 divided by 2 is 11. So that means one of the fold must be 11 inches. Nothing less than 11 inches. In fact, this is just perfect. So I have 11 inches here. And then I'll be using the remaining. This is about half an inch. This is about one inch here as the same allowance. Okay, so I'm going to use the O width. So to get the length of the sleeve, this is what we are going to do. The sleeve length that I want, okay, you're going to measure from your back, from the back of your neck, to where you want the sleeve to get to. For me, I want the sleeve to get to somewhere here around my wrist. If you want the sleeve to be just below your elbow, it's fine as well. Just measure from the back of your neck, okay, and stop wherever you want the sleeve to end, okay? So for me, I want 28 inches. But remember that on this dress you know we didn't use our shoulder at all so on this dress i already have something more than my shoulder okay this is more than my shoulder width from the back of my neck to here is more than my shoulder width yeah so if i put it on full and i measure what i have here this is 13.5 inches this is 13.5 inches Okay, so what I will do is to deduct 13.5 inches from 28 inches. Remember the measurements we have here is from the back of our neck to where you want the sleeve to be. And what you have here is also from the back of your neck to what you measured here. Alright, so what you're going to do is just to deduct what you have here from the sleeve length that you want. Okay? So 28 minus 13.5 inches, that will give me 15, 14.5 inches, right? So the length that I'm going to measure out for my sleeve is 14.5 inches plus Emin allowance, right? <music> so I can notch so that I'll know the middle point okay so now we have two sleeves so i just want to make marks this is the wrong side and this is the wrong side okay so now the next thing we're going to do is to join the sleeve to the body of the dress so this is how we are going to do that you open up your dress this way like this and then you bring the sleeves this way okay so this is what you're going to do this is one side of the sleeve right so you're going to join it like this okay this to this so the simplest way is to open it up like this right um the front here the back here and then you bring this this part we notched Ensure it is right here. Okay. And then you can pin it down this way and this way. I went to get my pins. <laughs> Ensure the right side is facing the right side. Don't mix it up. So what I'm going to do now is this, I'm going to sew here, 
I'm going to sew this part and then I'll come back and show you what we are going to do next. So guys, this is what I did. Okay, so this is the sleeve. You see, if you have a serger, you can just surge it. Okay, so I have one and I've just searched it. Okay, I also searched this part as well, which is the neckline. So this is how the cloth is. This is the front, right? The two pieces for the front, which I've joined. This is the neckline for the back. This is the sleeve and this is another sleeve, right? So the next thing I am going to do is to sew the sides together, okay? So I'm going to sew the front to the back. You know, this is the sleeve. So we have to start from the sleeve area, okay? So what I'm going to do is to sew like this with a one inch seam allowance from here here to here which is the side straight down okay i'm going to do the same at the other side as well so from the sleeve okay from the sleeve so straight down with the same allowance that you left so after that the next thing i'm going to do is to M the sleeve. If you don't have a serger, fold it two times. One, two, all right, and then you sew it around. But if you have a serger, you serge it first, okay? And then just fold it once and you sew it down, okay? So I'm going to sew the sides and also hem the sleeves. So guys, here is the dress, okay? So I have sewn the sides and I have overlocked it, okay? Everything is okay. And then the sleeve as well, I folded it, all right? I folded it with um, the same allowance and I've sewn it. So everything here is fine, right? So the next thing we are going to do is to cut the fabric that we are going to use for the collar, all right? So what you're going to do for the collar is to measure from the end of the dress, all round through the back neck all right okay let me open it up through here through the back neck to the other side okay so when you get the length the length that i got actually is um 78 all right so you're going to cut a fabric that is longer than 78 inches right so what i cut here is about 90 inches yeah, so I didn't get a long piece of fabric, so I cut two pieces of fabric and then I stitched it together at the middle, right? So what I have here is a fabric of about 90 inches long, okay? So it is 90 inches by 5 inches, alright? So what I'm going to do in order to attach it to the main dress is to fold it like this. It's just this way. I can just iron it so that I can lay flat and then I'm going to attach it to this dress. You can find the midpoint. This is the midpoint for mine. Okay? This is the midpoint for mine. That point where I joined it together. But if you do not have a midpoint, okay, just fold it lengthwise and get the midpoint. Okay? So what you're going to do is to place it right side, facing right side. Okay? So the midpoint of the collar will be against the midpoint of the neck of the rope. Do you understand? So right side facing right side and then you sew it straight down. Alright? It's just like this. Straight down till you get to the end of the dress. Okay, I hope you understand me. Straight down. But if you don't have a serger, right? I'm doing it this way because I have a serger. But if you don't have a serger, another option that you can do is to fold it like this, 0.5 inch on this side, 0.5 inch on this side, okay? And then you fold it this way, all right? And then you can attach it to the neck of the dress. I hope you understand me. So for the belt, what I did, was to cut out a long piece of fabric as well. So the belt has to be like 2.5 times your waist measurement, all right? Don't make it double. Make it something more than double your waist measurement. 
so my waist measurement is 32 all right so 32 times 2.5 that is 80 inches so what i have here is 80 inches length all right and then the width that i have is also five inches okay so what i'm going to do for the belt is to fold this against each other right side facing right side all right and then i'm going to sew it straight down all right and then i'm going to turn it inside out when i'm done now to the pockets I've cut out two pockets. Remember I told you that the pocket is actually optional, right? So the pocket that I cut is 8 inches by 10 inches. 8 inches wide, okay, by 10 inches. So looking at this now, I've already searched all the four corners, all right, and then I folded it. 0, 0.25 inch, 0.25 inch, 0.5 inch at the bottom. And then up here, this is about 0.75 this is even one inch okay so you fold it at the top one inch at the side 0 0.25 0 0.25 and then at the bottom 0 0.5 okay and then you iron it just like this so this is what you're going to have so I'm going to show you where at what position you should attach it to on your rope let me show you that you're going to measure down about 20 inches okay from your neck from the neck from the neckline going to measure down 20 inches all right so get the 20 inch mark okay i'm just going to use this chalk to make the mark on both sides ensure that the pockets are on the same position on both sides if you like you can have two pockets if you like you can have one it depends on what you want actually but i want it on both sides you're going to measure in about three inches from the side from the side seam right on that line okay you see this is the 20 inch line that i marked all right so right on this line ensure it is straight you're going to mark three inches in from the side seam three inches in from the side seam So this is the three inch mark. I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. All right, so for the pocket, this is what I'm going to do. You know, I've already folded it on the inside. So I'm just going to place it. So it is going to start from this mark right here. I hope you understand me so this is i'm going to place the pockets okay so the starting point is going to be on that three inch mark this three inch mark that i just made so that is where the starting point is going to be and then what i'm going to do is to sew it down right here very close to the edge of the pocket sew it down this way one two two three i'm going to leave this front this top part open Remember it is a pocket, this is going to be the opening for the hand, right? right? So now let me just give you a recap of what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to sew the pocket, alright? Sew it to the rope, both pockets. And then for the collar, right? I'm going to fold it this way. I'll iron it. This is the wrong side. So I'm just going to fold it like this. And then find the midpoint so the midpoint of the collar is what you're going to put against the midpoint of the neck of the dress i hope you understand so it is going to be the right side of the collar yeah facing the right side of the rope okay and then the midpoints are going to be together and then you're going to sew it with half an inch allowance all right straight down from the midpoint right down to the m so that is number two so number three will be the belt you're going to fold it right side facing right side yeah fold it like this so it's straight down you leave an opening okay and then you turn it inside out and then you iron it all right so after doing all that the next thing i'm going to do which is going to be the last thing on this dress is to fold it at the M 
okay so i'm going to fold it at the hem if you don't have an overlocker remember that i left two inch hemming allowance right so you're going to do 0 0.5 inch first and then 1.5 inches and then you sew it down but if you have a serger what you're going to do serge it first and then you just fold it once i hope you understand so that is going to be it one other thing that i think is not really necessary but if you want to do it is to put a belt loop right so if you have a very small piece of fabric you can just fold it all right and then you put a loop for your belt on the sides okay just on the side somewhere on your waistline so that when you tie your belt your belt will not be slipping all right it won't slip off right so you can just do a belt hole if you want I, i'm not sure i'm going to do that but after doing all these things that i have told you i'll hire on the clothes and then i'll come and show you what it looks like so this is the beautiful dress that you have just made you see this is very very beautiful and the material the fabric is really really nice as well it is not too busy it is very colorful wouldn't you want to make something like this so this is the pocket all right you see we have a perfect position for the pocket this is the pocket okay so and this is the length as well i like it this way it is not too short and it is not not long it is just perfect so you can wear it this way open front you just wear something inside right you can wear your denim with it anyhow you like it you can use a belt this is the belt okay so if you like you can use a belt with it and you can just play with the front as you wish all right you can make it open you can close it up okay you tie your belt and you're good to go this is what it looks like at the back so thank you very much for watching my tutorial if it has been helpful please let me know drop your comments share this video like it as well and please also ask your questions if you have any and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much till we see you again bye